So guys, this is how we used to sidechain in Apple Studio Mobile before. But it takes too much time because we used to make volume automation first and then make volume automation graph and then copy the graph and paste it below the kick everywhere to make it work. And that's why we are going to approach with different method to sidechain in Apple Studio Mobile to save our lots of time and make it easy. So guys, now I'm going to teach you the pro method of sidechain. Before we start sidechaining, give it a listen how it sounds without sidechain. So as we hear that, the kick is clashing with the melody and it really needs sidechain. So let's do it. So at first, create an effect track. Now name this effect track as sidechain. Now open the effects action of our sidechain channel. Now add limiter on it. Now click on anything that you want to sidechain with respect to the kick in your project. It could be anything like guitar loop, melody, etc. Like right now I want to sidechain my melody so I'm gonna click on it. Now click on add send. Now press on sidechain. So we successfully connect our melody channel with sidechain channel. And now turn off this master toggle. After closing the master toggle of our melody, now the level of our melody channel is fully controlled by the sidechain effect channel. And now click on the kick channel. Now click on add send. And now press on sidechain. So now the kick channel is also connected with effect track sidechain channel. Now click on the effect track channel. Now play the track and decrease the threshold slowly until you hear the kick sound clearly. So after making the threshold to minus 18.8 decibel, we can able to hear the kick clearly. And now continue play the track and decrease the volume of melody channel slowly until you see the limiter is showing this type of shape. So we perfectly sidechain our melody with respect to the kick. And now we are going to give it a finishing touch. Now again use the threshold and try to find the best threshold in which the kick is sounding clearly. So we finally find the best threshold and now increase the release as per your kick length but don't increase the release too much try to maintain the shape that's it now increase the out gain to make up the volume of kick and melody so now our sidechain is fully and perfectly completed let's hear the before and after of the sidechain So guys if you like the video make sure to subscribe to the channel and help me reach 10k subscribers. Thank you so much guys.